Hi everybody, Steve Zara here from Zara.lab and this orthodontic lab video I am going to teach you how to make some pretty cool looking hearts in your retainers. Now, I actually didn't learn this technique on my own. I was trimming them out and finding it was a super pain in the butt. But I actually was, uh, I learned this from an Instagrammer. Her name is Martina and she's from Czechoslovakia and she allowed me to post this video. So I'm gonna actually be kind of copying, mimicking what she did in the live video on one side and I'm gonna be doing it. Now also t during the video I'll show you, I will explain to you some techniques that worked much better by practicing because the first couple of retainers I tried to do it, they were failures. So it's not as easy as it looks. She's the master. Go follow her on Instagram. She's almost at 10,000 followers. She's the best. Let her know it. Leave her a like. And hey, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I got new videos coming out every Tuesday, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time for your entertainment. So thanks for watching and let's get down and busy to this video. And The very first thing I do is I prep a retainer that I'm going to use to trim out my hearts. This retainer is a, going to be clear white background, but you can use any color. Just make sure that your colors don't aren't the same as the, your background color when you're carving out the hearts. Now I begin to draw hearts and Martina is joining me on the left side. She did this on Instagram live. So if you follow her on Instagram, you can, if you're lucky enough and you pay attention to the live videos on their Instagram stories, you can actually follow her. And she draws better hearts than I do. The next step is to assemble your fissure burrs. And these are the burrs that are going to, they're really small burrs that are made nice and tight so you can cut out the hearts. And when I found out, after a few trial and errors, I found out that if you go through the front of the retainer, your first initial hole, it's easier to see the hearts. In the right hand side, I am actually going to the back end, which is fine in for this heart, but I found out it was a real pain when you got wires in the way. So it's better to put your first initial hole inside on the front of the, on the top side of the retainer. See, now I'm drawing, now I'm poking a hole through the front so I can see the actual where the hole is. If you go through the back, you have more chance of hitting a wire. The next step what you want to do is you want to glue this down, add some separator, and then glue the model down. Now the nice part about using this glue is once it hardens and the retainer is finished, it'll just chip right off. It's not going to stay like glued to the retainer. Now I'm going to begin to apply my colors. And what I thought Martina was doing is I thought that she was using colored monomer, but I found out that when you use color monomer, it leaks through the back of the retainer. And also you have more chance of getting porosity because the acrylic is leaking through the back of the retainer. So don't use colored monomers. She's actually using colored polymers. It just, I, that's what I was thinking when I was first watching it because her colors are so rich. I just thought that she was using colored monomer. So definitely use colored polymers with clear liquid and you'll get really, really nice colors. And you can see in the left that it just bled right through. 
the color monomer. I use a wide variety of colors. The darker the acrylic on a lighter background, the better your hearts are going to look. They're going to really pop. Now in this video, coming up very shortly, I'm going to show you the finished product of what Martina's retainers look like and what mine turned out like. I'll leave a link below so you can follow this great technician who I learned this technique from, Martina, on Instagram. Here's her finished work. Beautiful. If you like this video content, leave me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And next Tuesday, we have something new coming up, so get ready.